everyone, welcome to Kelly's Creative Dream Studios, and it is day 14 of our 31 days of Halloween, doing October daily memory deck style. Now, I really enjoy getting the comments and the suggestions, and I hope you'll keep them coming, because they make me think about things. And I had had a planned... I have gone through in September and went through and got inspiration pieces for all of these because I knew that trying to do 31 videos in the month plus my regular videos, and that was even before I knew I was leaving for conference, was just going to be absolutely crazy. I did not think about creating any of my own, but someone pointed out that, you know, I probably could create some of my own. So here's what I've done for today. Let's start with the fact that... This was supposed to be, okay, this was supposed to be day 13, then we swapped around and it has become day 14, and it's by Paisley and Polka Dots. However, there's a lot going on on here that I just, I don't have time for today. I still have four more videos to record and pack, and Bob is on his way home, and I'd like to be able to spend a little bit of time with him this evening because I know he, after working 12 hours last night, is busting his hiney to get home before I have to leave in the morning. So, all that going on, we're going to do something with this. So, but it did, I didn't even think about the layout of this as I decided to construct my own. Now, since I am doing um, the Hocus Pocus kit from Spectrum Art Creations as my paper pad for my junk journal for this month, I thought, why not do a memory decks card that showcases the Hocus Pocus stuff? So I have a black center tab this today, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to come in and I've got, I have, I really have to start stop using I got. I got is not proper English, but YouTube has ruined me. Okay, so let's start by putting our glue and putting our base down. And what I did was I went through and I chose one of the backgrounds from Wendy's kit. And I really like the brightness of the orange. So that's what I chose to go with. So I have this orange and I love the swirlies in this. And the pattern varies. Um, throughout the sheet. So you just kind of want to do your placement, whatever looks good. Okay, so I have that down. And I am going to come in with my Distress Ink before I do anything else. And hit this with the Distress with the black soot. And get some color on there. So that it kind of blends in with the black background card that I'm using. Okay, so we have that. And I'm going to leave this here because I'm going to need a glue a gluing station here, I think. Okay, so now that I have this, then I decided this is also one of the elements from Maddie's, uh, from Wendy's kit, and I'm going to come in here and kind of off-shadow those, those lines, but here's what I found out. These holes line up perfectly with the memory dex holes. Wendy did a really good job of doing that. So, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to glue this down, but after I ink it up, I'm only going to glue it down on two sides and the bottom so that I have a pocket. Now, I did not notice until I went to show you what we were going to do today that that one also had a pocket on it. I just looked at this and saw pocket. So I'm going to go ahead and round off my corners with my little mini punch best I can. I don't know if I can do this one or not. We'll see what happens. Now, I did have to fussy cut trim this out a little bit, and that was fine. But I'm going to come in here, and I'm just going to put the glue. And you know what? I forgot to grab another bottle of glue. So we're going to hope we can get through this video. And then I will grab, grab one when I'm done. So I did this just on the two sides. Cannot pick it up. Did this just on the two sides and the bottom, so I leave the top open as a pocket, and I'm going to line that up with the holes that Matt, that Wendy had on hers, as best I can. Now I can come in and I can trim this out, not a problem, and it might be a little loose on my box later, but that's okay. It'll still be in place. So now I have this pocket. Then I came in with Winnie. 
This is from one of the tall tags. She has tall tags for each of the sisters. And so I'm going to come in and I'm going to give her a dusting so that she pops out. Now why she only has one arm on there, I don't know. <laughs> but that's okay. It made it, it made it possible for me to fit her on this tag better. Now I do know that I am going to wind up trimming this part of her skirt off. So I'm just going to wind, go ahead and round that off. And it still needs, I'll have to come back and punch her off. I'll have to come back and do that. So, now we're going to go ahead and glue Winnie down. I had an amazing evening last night. I have been trying for a week to get, to do a seafood boil. And it just seems that by the time I got done rushing around for the day, I was just tired. I was done. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue Winnie down. Now, I do have her sticking out above here. And you know what? I don't think I want to glue her down like that. I don't think, I don't think, I don't think. Let's use our glue dots. Ouch. And I didn't set my timer, so I have to keep an eye on my clock up here. Okay. Let's give her some dimension, shall we? Let's pop her up. That's okay because it means that we've got a little bit of dimension on her. And I'm going to snip that off like I've got an extra glue dot there. Press that down and then we're going to come back and we'll put her up here on the glue dots. Now use the white ones because I'm not going onto a black background and I'm not doing anything that's black. But if I go ahead and pop her down here just like that. And then I have uh, this from the kit. And I wanted to stick that across there, but it doesn't all fit. So we're going to modify this just a bit. Just a bit. See if we can make this fit. Nope, we got to come off with one more O. And if we do those two O's, then we can do that and make it blend as one. So let's go ahead and edge these so they'll blend in with the background. I'm not going to end blend this side because I want those two pieces to come together. And to show you how I'm going to do that and make them work together, let's finish edging this. I'm going to flip these over and I'm going to put just a little piece of tape on the back of there. Just a smidgy piece. So that when I line them up and go to lay them on there, they will blend together. Just like that. And now they have more of a cohesion of looking like they actually belong together. There's a little bubble there, but that's okay. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and glue this one down the way it is. I'm not going to pop it up. And you'll see why I chose book about of all the sayings why I chose book. Because, you know, Winnie spends the entire show either trying to find book or to get book back. So we're going to put that right down just like that. And now I have book. Now this is another one from one of the tags, one of the tall tags. And I just snipped it down to fit. Repunched out the top, and now I'm dusting it with the with that. And we need fiber of some type in there, and I did not bring that with me. Let's see what I've got handy in here. Let's use a piece of this eyelash trim, shall we? No, I don't like the eyelash trim. Let's use the black cord. Ooh, this. Let's use this. I love this. And find out where this where it's tucked in at. I know it's here somewhere. I'm gonna wind up unwrapping this whole thing, trying to find the bot, find trying to find out where it comes from. 
There we go. Okay. Let's get my ribbon scissors out here. Now, I will tell you, when I set these videos up and upload them, I have already discovered that YouTube is taking them out, taking some of the details off. Yesterday, I had to go in and change a thumbnail on one of the videos and that I had set the, the correct thumbnail, but YouTube had changed it, and they had also taken off all my tags, and I don't know why. So I'm keeping an eye on them as best I can, but when I get to the conference this weekend, keeping an eye on those is going to be a little, little more challenging. So um, I will do the best that I can because I will go in and I will upload the video and schedule it for the next day or that afternoon. I find that I can usually do one day or two, you know, do it the day before and I'm okay. Okay, and then I have some trim pieces there I don't need. And remember our little trick for keeping this intact in is we will put, actually I think I'm going to use a glue dot for that one just because it will be faster as soon as I find my glue dots. <laughs> as soon as I find the glue dots. I don't see my glue dots. There they are. I have stuff piled everywhere, but I would either take a little piece of glue, little uh, bit of glue dot, or a little dab of glue underneath that ribbon. Place it on there. Remember to burnish it so you get a good adhesion, and then I can come back. And pull that in and that glue dot or the dab of glue will help hold that in place on your tag okay just like that and then we have a pocket that we can slip book into and there is our memory dex card for day 14 of our 31 days of halloween creating october daily memory deck style i will see you back here tomorrow afternoon with day 15. Oh, we got to put this on. Let's throw this on really quick. So remember to like, to share, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you do not miss what we do next on this 31 Days of Halloween. Creative Blessings.